Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful Saturday morning. We are on our way out to do some yard sales. Let's see what we can find and flip them on for a profit. Here we go. Alright, guys. Here we are at the first sale. We're kind of doing a little freestyling off the old yard sale app today. We were using uh, a lot of different resources normally to find yard sales, but nobody was really having any amount of yard sales today. No neighborhoods, nothing local, so end up using an app and managed to find a few. He's not, but he fired up the truck. He started the truck. Hey, will you make me another sign? No. Alright, well. I think she's still taking a look around, but I didn't see anything this time, I'm afraid. So we were just driving by and found a little uh, church out in the country having a yard sale. Don't forget to wash your stuff. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir.
But it's not really a churchyard sale. We have only one body anyway. It only has the one, but it fits into either. So just take it, take it out. And then that one. 45, 50. How much for this? Two dollars. How much? Two. Two. All right. Picked up second ebbs. It's uh, apparently selling for about thirty plus dollars, and we just paid two dollars for it.
Morning. Morning. Always, but everything, everything that's donated today, I'm giving directly to Pine Ridge. So. Okay. Done? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. I don't know if it said it was a seven family yard sale. Well, a what? Oh. Thank you, you have a good day. You recording it? Is that a camera? <laughs> 
Yeah. And we did we uh put it up on our YouTube channel. Huh? We put it up on our YouTube channel. Oh. On the street show, is that what you said? What'd you say? We put it up on the YouTube channel. You don't happen to have any old video games or old collectibles or anything like that, do you? Y'all got the right idea. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got the fit. Uh, DVD's 50 cents piece. I'm going to go back with you guys if I find anything. Okay, everybody. So, today has been a terrible day for yard sales. And uh, it's not an exaggeration. How many items did we get? Two. <laughs> and we went to well over a dozen a lot set. so we're gonna try to salvage today and go in here to our favorite goodwill and see if we can find anything to flip online for a profit crossing our fingers <laughs> yeah here we go Hey, hey. Good night. Good Nothing up here at the moment. This is also usually one of the weird times to come in because they um they kind of like still getting stuff in from the yard sales. <clears throat> I'm trying to process it and get it out. Copy of the Iliad. If you had the Odyssey, you would go for more. <laughs> you get both. I guess what I'm saying. Oh. And stick. Yeah. I don't know if that's it's possible. It's a motorcycle. Muscle motors? Yeah. That's odd. Have to see what this is worth. Yeah, I'm curious. Be back in a minute, yeah. So it appears it is a 
Apostle Tom piece that was uh, in collaboration with Harley. So, it looks like it can sell pretty well. So, we're going to pick it up. Please don't shoot me. You did not. Oh my gosh. That might actually be a vintage piece too. It is. The original Care Bear sleeping bag. Oh lord. But look, but look. I didn't just pick it up, I did look it up. Sorry. $37. $25. $17.50. That was bad. $20, bucks, $40. Oh, bucks. I'm connected. Well, you know, um, I looked this up. And this was an actual, if you flipped it around, there's a clock uh, on the other side. Oh. And it was a, Watch, it was a collaboration no piece um, done with uh, Harley. Oh. So it's a Harley Davidson fossil watch clock. Oh. It sells in about the 40s. Oh, cool. So, so I picked up two good things. Yep. Why didn't we come here sooner? <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Hey, you can see what we got here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We'll go back here and look. We'll tune you back in if anything else comes up. All right, guys. So we're gonna find quite a bit of stuff. Um, good old Mr. Wonderful new in a package. Finally, these Star Wars Nutcrackers. They're really cool. Uh, let's see. Find these Lane Bryant jean shorts over here. Also found. This Evo Shield. Uh, anything of this Evo Shield seems to be very, very expensive. It seems to sell kind of on the high end. Uh, so that's really nice. Um, so if you saw the uh, clock earlier, these Teva, T E V A. Uh, these are men's sandals, size 10. Should sell really well. Found. Uh, This old, uh, it's like a whiskey jug, moonshine jug, something like that. I think is what they call it. Um, I found these Star Wars two packs. There's Anakin and a trooper, the Emperor and a trooper, Vader and a trooper from a series. I guess it was called Order 66. Should sell for about 60 bucks each. This is a Boba Fett from, I'm assuming it's from the Black series of um, Star Wars figures and stuff. He um, does not have his box. He seems, he seems to have everything else, so they're asking $4.99. He should sell for about 20 bucks. He's kind of a die-cast figure. What you got? What you got? And then uh, down here, I've also got a Care Bears... Um, uh, Blanket. No, it's a... Um, sleeping bag. Sleeping bag, thank you. So... I'm gonna walk out of here, I think, and uh, kind of run with what we got. So, that's all. All right, everybody, it's wrap up time. Here's the finds from our uh, Goodwilling and yard sailing that we done uh, this past weekend. Um, so we'll start off here with some of the really awesome Star Wars finds we found. Uh, they're all Nutcrackers. And, um, we think somebody must have come in and dropped off a Star Wars collection because we also have these uh, Order 66 figures that were exclusive to Target. And these are some of those, uh, they call them the Black Series uh, figures because they're made of like a die cast metal. They're really heavy, really neat and articulated. Then we got old, good old Mr. Wonderful back there in the back. He's uh, also new in the package. I wonder if he works. Or if he needs no, batteries. I'm already tried him. Oh. <laughs> it would have been funny. Um, find a Logitech uh, PC flight stick. Uh, that box down there actually has a Logi or a, I'm sorry, a Western Digital uh, hard drive in it that we found. It was brand new, still sealed. It was a one terabyte PC hard drive. This is that. Um, Fossil collaboration apparently with Harley uh, clock pretty cool uh, It's a copper teapot 
an old pottery, I believe they were calling them like moonshine jugs is what they were calling them. Uh, this is a candle, just a candle it's holder. like a luminary. Luminary. Uh, that environ Evo Shield. Evo Shield, I was going to say Enviro Shield. <laughs> Bomber jacket. Bomber jacket. The Lane Bryant, um, shorts. Shorts. Jean They're shorts. called girlfriend shorts. Girlfriend shorts. The Care Bears sleeping bag that somebody just had to pick up. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Tiva men's, uh, I guess you call them sandals. Mm -hmm. The Tom Clark gnome. This one was actually signed. And it has a sticker from Tom Clark signing day, June 26, 1994, in Sugarloaf, New York. Then we have the complete Miami Vice uh, series on DVD. It was $1.99, and I kind of see why now because the box is a little mangled. And it's like somebody, I don't know if they reprinted the artwork or cut the artwork out of the old torn box. But then they folded a, a Gilmore Girls box inside out to store it, and it was. Kind of funny. This is another one of those Pottery Barn Kids eyelet blackout panels. Uh -huh. and we bought one last weekend and now we have a set of two. This is a story called Pax and Pax the Journey Home. I'm not familiar with the story, but it did sell pretty well. It's still sealed, as you can see. And then, how about Six this? Six second abs. Was that, that was 90s, right? Yeah. So, blast in the past there, folks. And it does work. I was playing around with it a few minutes ago. Bought it for $2 and it looks like it should sell for about 30 So, you know, this is that uh, point in the video where I, I invite you guys to tell us uh, what was your favorite find this week? Um, did we miss anything? You know, because as always, we like to know. We're always willing to learn. Um, and if you like what we do, please hit that uh, like and subscribe button. It helps out with the algorithm with... Uh, YouTube and tells them that uh, hey y'all are interested in these videos and um, you know subscribing to us it helps us grow and allows us to do more things for y'all so until next time bye